Welcome to Wolf Chevrolet. Today we're taking a closer look at some of the interior and exterior features in our 2022 Chevrolet Suburban. This Suburban is featured in a black paint finish and is the LT trim. It includes features such as heated front leather bucket seats, heated second row captain's chairs, a power fold flat third row bench. We have our Google Assistant with Google Maps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a full 360 degree camera, a dual pane panoramic sunroof, lane keep assist, forward collision alert, front and rear park assist, as well as our heated steering wheel and much more. Starting off in the front of the vehicle, you can see we have a chrome finish door handle, power locks below, power mirrors, power windows, as well as driver seat memory, some storage, as well as our Bose speaker. Just inside to the left of the steering wheel, we have our park brake, lane keep assist, front and rear park sensors, traction control, 360 camera, auto stop start, as well as a way to turn on our 120 volt plugs, transfer case settings above, tow haul mode, our lighting controls, power tilt telescopic steering column, Down the side of the driver's seat, we have power controls with lumbar. You can see the seat here finished in our jet black leather. Getting into the vehicle and looking above our steering wheel, we have our fully digital display cluster. You can change it around in various different settings. Moving down to the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have all of our cruise settings forward collision alert, and heated steering wheel. Down the side at the back, we have controls for our radio. Right hand side of the steering wheel has all of the controls for our display cluster information system, as well as hands-free controls on the outside. Moving to the middle, we have our infotainment system with our Google Assistant. If we go into our audio, you can see we have AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Google News, podcasts, as well as our USB inputs for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Home button is the bottom left. Google Maps, as well as phone connection, our full 360 cameras with front and rear views. We have our trailer assist, as well as adaptive guidelines. Google Assistant, Google Play Store, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay across the bottom, trailer lights, as well as climate <laughs> settings, an available Wi-Fi hotspot, My Chevrolet, as well as our Google News and podcasts, home screen with our various informations, shifter is to the left, and our push to start ignition, have our volume control, home button, seek tune, back, as well as menu button, Passenger side, we can see we have a hidden storage space. Hazard lights, two vents are above our radio controls. And we have our climate control. We can also adjust this through our screen. Front and rear defrost, we have our rear climate controls. This opens through our screen. We can also turn our rear climate on and off. Heated and vented seat back and seat cushion for driver and passenger. USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt plug in the front of the vehicle. Wireless charging pad, two cup holders, and we have our center console, storage on top. You can also see our key, on our key, locks and unlocks, remote start, power tailgate settings, as well as an alarm system. In our center console, you can see we have some deep storage, as well as shallow removable coin storage. USB-C and a USB input on the front. Moving to the passenger seat, also powered and heated in our jet black leather. Lastly, above the rear view mirror, slide tilt sunroof settings, sunroof cover. We have power folding seats, power tailgate, rear check reminder, our universal garage door opener, dome lights that we can control by simply pressing on. Then we have our dual pane sunroof ranging from the front to the rear of the vehicle. Walking down the side of the vehicle, moving to our front tire and rim, 
we can see we have a black alloy rim with our all season tire. Moving out, we have paint match mirrors as well as paint match door handles, black molded assist step across the bottom of the vehicle, all the way around to the back of the vehicle. We have suburban badging as well as a black Chevrolet bow tie and black LT badging. Have our backup camera below our Chevrolet bow tie. Handle at the bottom to open our power lift gate. In the back of the vehicle, we have a third row 60 40 folding split bench. We have some storage underneath. Can fold our second and third row seats through the side. And as mentioned, also our second rows. We also have a 120 volt plug. Can fold up the third row seats also through the same buttons. Lastly, we can close the trunk through a button on the driver side or manually from the passenger side. Moving into the back of the vehicle, you can see we have a chrome finish door handle, power locks below, a power window control, some storage as well as a Bose speaker. Inside the vehicle, storage pockets in the back of the passenger and driver seat. Two cup holders with some storage in the back of our center console. Below that, we have controls for our tri-zone air conditioning, as well as heated outboard seats, USB-Cs for charging for both the passengers, and a 120 volt plug. Moving to the seats in the second row, we just have the two captain's chairs, finished in our jet black leather. Can fold the seats down the side, as well as move them forward and back. In the third row, we have a 60-40 power folding bench seat. You can see we have a cup holder with some storage, as well as a USB-C, and the same on the passenger side. Lifting up these seats, we can see they simply lock into place. Then we can move them front and back with the lever on the front. And we also have in the back our second pane of our dual pane sunroof. Thank you for joining me for this quick video walk around of the 2022 Chevrolet Suburban. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe for more daily videos, and we hope to see you at Wolf Chevrolet soon.